Well, good morning and welcome to the homestead, everyone. Man, it poured yesterday, but I'm thankful for it because we needed the rain. And look at guys, look at my system. My swale is catching all the water. There's a couple of low spots, but I can deal with them. And if we come up here, <clears throat> there's a couple of low spots in the driveway. I explained this one in our last video. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna trench this out all the way over here to where where my trench is and what that's gonna do guys is that is gonna let all of this water drain into the drainage um, trench so that I don't have any standing water on my driveway and then I'll fill that little trench that I dig out in with some rock, the water will pass through the rock, but it'll be stable. And then when I do my whole driveway with rock, I shouldn't really have a lot of muddy spots, but look guys, it looks so much better. But enough about old projects, let's get on to a new project. It's time to fence in the garden. I wish I could see the future, I wish I could see what's left I know there must be an answer, or am I wasting what is left? And there is such thing as a vision of a story I'd like to live But when you're stuck inside a prison, you never know how long to give All right, guys, two feet, just a couple inches over. That didn't take long. I'm glad I waited for um, the rain because it definitely softened up this clay soil quite a bit. So I'm gonna set you guys up and see how many of these I can get put together.
What do you think, guys? Not too bad. Should be all right. All right, that's halfway. We got the other half to go. Good morning everyone it's the next day I've pulled my line from that other side I've restrung it on this side and rinse and repeat guys let's get these itch braces put in That's a good cardio workout, but all my fence posts are buried and all my T posts are ran. All my hinge posts for my gates are up. So what I've got to do now, let me show you guys. You see these, we're gonna cut these to length. The extra long ones like this, those are what we're gonna use for our cross braces. So we need to get all that put together before we're ready to stretch fence.
Well guys, that log fell, hit me in the arm. So I gotta go do some bandaging and then we'll get right back on it. All right guys, safe and sound, all doctored up. I got it bandaged pretty extensively. It was a little more than a uh, Band-Aid could handle, but I don't wanna get any wood chips or dirt in it. It took um, two good sized chunks out. So let's move on. That will stay with me. Sky is wrapped in blue. Wish that I could share with you. Like a photograph when times are good. When a flower begins to bloom. Life never felt so good. Distance doesn't break your heart It gives us time to know our life It's all empty I wish that I could lie with you I know what I would hold on to I miss you when I was young Times are good. What do you think guys? Not bad for somebody who's never built an H brace out of cedar post before. I think it'll do. We're not holding in cattle or livestock. This is just um, fencing to keep uh, rabbits and groundhogs and uh, predators that will eat in our garden out. So I think it's gonna work. You want to head up front? Come on. Well, hello guys. It's, well, it's actually two days later. Uh, I had a bunch of off homestead running around. I had to take care of, and we're back. And all of my H braces are in. They're all set. They're all screwed together and tap down in and they've actually had a day to kind of settle let's go up here to the front where we're going to start this process because i think today we're going to pull fence i think if i can get this entire garden enclosed with fence today we will be in good shape but take a look guys my ace braces are in they're nice and sturdy they're not going anywhere they should be perfectly fine to uh, attach uh, welded wire fence to and uh, pull it tight 
hold on one second, guys. Rock a Lapone, get back over here. Come on, come on, Bailey. Come on, guys. Come on, good boy. Come on. Alrighty guys, I got it enclosed. I've still got a uh, spare piece I gotta put here and maybe pull it down a little bit, seal up a little bit of the areas where something might sneak up underneath and build my gates, but I've been at it all day, all day. And I wasn't gonna put you guys through that. But it's 90% done and that's the way we like it here on the homestead. Till the next one, we'll see you later. Bye.